I went a few years ago and it is a good deal. Lots of uh, free pimento cheese. And this weekend, probably good that they're not having it because the cheese would melt. We're going to warm up into the upper 80s. It's been an interesting weather week, plenty of rain. Of course, this coming off last weekend when Saturday was in the mid 80s. And then Sunday, we all know what happened. I mean, the bottom fell out. It was in the 60s. Not going to be that cool this weekend. There will be some rain showers Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Tonight, there's one little one left just north of you guys in Goldsboro, still bringing some heavy rain, but it's fizzling out and moving out. Everyone else is dry, and you'll be this way tomorrow morning as well. But you could have some fog with all the water in the ground, some clearing skies. We could have some patchy, dense fog, especially south and southeast of the Triangle tomorrow morning. So if you've got errands or garage sales or practices or whatever, you might run into that. Here's what your entire Saturday looks like. After a foggy start around 70 degrees, hour by hour will take us up to the low 80s by lunchtime on our way to a high near 90. 89 sure is a whole lot different than 90, isn't it? At least when you look at it and in your brain. We will have a few scattered storms, most of those south of the triangle, though. We'll have some sunshine, but I don't know if it's going to look as good as this. I will tell you, I don't have any yet from tonight, but there was a super sunset tonight. If you have any pictures, drop me an email to send it at cbs17.com. But how about this one from Four Oaks last month? Shout out to Johnston County and Dana down there. I appreciate you sending us this. I'll put it on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page just as soon as the news is over. The sun is now setting at 828, two weeks until we are in the middle of the longest days of the year. Summer starts in a little more than two weeks. That is also our longest days of the year. It'll feel like summer this weekend, that's for sure, but we'll have to dodge a few showers and storms. Not tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning starts off again with the fog and dry weather. We'll get some sunshine in here, warm up by lunchtime, keep it generally dry. Notice a little bit of rain starting to pop in about 3 o'clock tomorrow. So it's not a washout tomorrow. It's only a 20% chance, and it's south of the triangle. Sunday, it's a little different story. It's a little bit wetter. A little more of us could see rain. But again, not in the morning. The morning will be dry, muggy, and humid, like it's going to be every day for the next three months. And then by lunchtime, we're still seeing dry weather. But as we get into the afternoon, notice showers and storms bubbling up from the south, spreading up here to the triangle, mid-afternoon to late afternoon and early evening. So if you want a drier day, it's tomorrow. But both days this weekend, we'll continue to see that steamy feel. Our dew point temperature was around 70 today, and it's not moving much this weekend. That with highs in the upper 80s, it's going to feel like the first full weekend of June. Back to work and school next week, a full week of it, including hurricanes back home on Tuesday night. Guys, I don't have much variation. I've got a lot of upper 80s, got a lot of scattered showers and storms each day. So our driest day technically is tomorrow with a high of 89. So enjoy that. We definitely will. Thanks, sir. Appreciate okay. it. All right, Chris.